Hello everyone, my name is Rosie Ruiz and today we're going to go over teaching gifted and talented students PowerPoint. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of overview of this topic. So these students are going to be recognized as gifted if they have exceptional abilities in any area of learning that significantly exceeds their grade level. Gifted students are also able to understand content inside of our students older than them. Many gifted students are at loss and have of how effectively to study, manage their time, handle intense competition and pressure, or deal with less and stellar grades and test scores. Therefore, it's important to keep these students consistently engaged in challenging work, or else they will lose their motivation to work. We're also going to go over some of the socio-emotional needs of gifted students and the topic of asynchronous development. So, we're going to go over who is gifted and talented. These are some of the definitions I found that um, separates them. So gifted, they have extraordinary ability and creativity. While talented, they have exceptional skills and ability in a specific area such as art, music, science, and language. So some common characteristics to be able to separate gifted students from the rest of the students is that they learn new material faster at an, and at, at an earlier age than their peers. They also remember what they have learned for a very long time, making, it, making review sometimes unnecessary and boring for them. They're able to deal with concepts that are too complex and abstract for their peers. Many times that's why it causes a lot of conflict because they're into, st into more bigger stuff, bigger projects than their peers, so they don't have anything relate to, to relate with them. And they, are, they do have passionate interest in certain things and topics, and they would much rather spend all available time learning more about those topics. And this is where another conflict arises because many times teachers don't have time to go, brief, to go into other topics because they have a curriculum they have to follow, so these kids are left in the blank and not able to expand their, their learning. So they, um, the fifth one is the no to the know to watch the teacher to understand what is being said, and they can process more than one test at a time. So many times they don't have to pay it, look, look at the teacher directly in the eye to be able to understand and, and grab what she's saying. So this this is another um, common, characteristic, common characteristic. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go over some of the socio-emotional needs of gifted students. So the social and emotional needs are at the heart of well-being and the foundation for achievement for all children. So, you know, as educators, we need to take that into consideration and deeply understand how um, being gifted affects these children. Many children need to be targeted, need to have targeted assistance with peer relationships, perfectionism, asynchronous, asynchronous development, stressors, and post-secondary planning. So by post-secondary, so going into the college or higher education. They need to have a more, um, better plan to, to do exactly what they want to do since many of them are looking into going into one of the prestigious universities. All right. Okay, so now let's go over some of the potential social and emotional challenges that gifted students face. So see, some of the challenges are high involvement and preoccupation, so they want the need to understand and want to know more about things. They have heightened sensitivity, perfectionism, and the need for position, asynchronous development, feelings, and early awareness of being different. So also the need for mental stimulation, emotional intensity, and much more. I mean, as you guys can imagine, there's way more things it's not it's not a definite every child is different and has different um needs that need to be met all right so now we're going to go over some of the ways us as educators can help these gifted students so it's important to modify context in which gifted students grow up provide appropriate educational choices provide training for all gifted students Recognize their, diversi their diversity and richness. Develop a continuum of service. And finally, to continue to advocate for changes and never give up, always want to do better for them. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so here's another main topic we're going to go over in this PowerPoint. We're going to go over asynchronous development. So asynchrony is a term used to describe the mismatch between cognitive, emotional, and physical development of gifted individuals. So gifted children often have significant variations within themselves and develop unevenly across a different skill level. So for example, a gifted child may be excellent in math, but poor in reading or vice versa. So just because they're good in one topic doesn't mean they're going to be excellent in the other, you know. All of these kids have different um, giftedness and it varies throughout the range of um, topics. It's not all going to be the same for them. And also, many times the intellectual skills are quite advanced in gifted students, but their fine motor or social skills are lagging. So that's where us as educators need to come in and help these students um, find a, a better level of equalness between these two. Okay. So I found here a definition of giftedness, which I found that really related to this topic of asynchronous, and it was written by the Columbus Group in 1991. So giftedness is asynchronous development in which advanced cognitive availabilities and high intensity combine to create inner experiences and awarenesses that are qual qualitatively different from the norm. The asynchrony increases with higher intellectual capacity. The uniqueness of the gifted renders them particularly vulnerable and requires modifications in parenting, teaching, and counseling in order for them to develop optimally. All right. So giftedness is asynchronous development. Gifted students develop unevenly throughout these three topics, so they develop unevenly in academics, socially, and emotion. So here's a, a scout, and it shows how sometimes this unevenness causes a conflict because of that. They're not on the same um, page as they are on their, their academics, and they're a little bit behind in their social skills, so it causes conflicts with them to make peer peer relationship with teachers, students, etc. Also, many times gifted students are treated like adults because of their advanced vocabularies and complex speech patterns. But emotionally and socially, they are often closer to the age. So just because they talk a certain way or you feel like they're older or more mature because of the, the complex words they use, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are older. I mean, they're still kids that need to be treated as, as such. <clears throat> so that was the main point of this top of this con um so <clears throat> let's go over another conclusion to break brief um summarize everything that we talked about in this PowerPoint. So it is crucial to provide the exceptional educational resources for gifted students in order to help them succeed. So we all need to understand the common characteristics of gifted students um and necessary in order to help reach these students and provide them with the differentiation, the two differentiation strategies necessary in the classroom. Also, as a society, we need to become positive role models in order to bring an optimistic outlook on the way gifted and talented students are perceived. Understanding asynchronous development in gifted students is a fundamental way to help make appropriate modifications in parenting, teaching, counseling, in order to help them develop, develop optimally. Okay, so that was some of the main topics. I hope this guys this helped um, helped you guys understand the topic of gifted and talented students better, and it will give you guys some resources to use in your guys' classroom. Thank you. Have a nice day.